This is a short tutorial on Flipgrid, an online platform that enhances student voice and generates interesting conversations and discussions in the classroom. In this video, we will show you how to record directly through Flipgrid or to upload a video you've recorded before. So we're going to show you the student view for Flipgrid and how students can either upload and or record their own video and a few of the other features that you'll have as a student view. And this is, of course, in Flipgrid 1, the free version. So we're in my grids. We're already logged in. We're going to click on our topics, and I'm going to choose the topic among the topics that I want to use. Now, one thing that you could do is have students uh, take this code and go to info.flipgrid.com and just paste in, and then click Enter, and it's going to take them to the actual grid. One other thing that you could do is, as a teacher, click on this when you're in, and see how it looks as a student, and you're going to get the same thing we just had. Uh, you could actually just go in yourself, click on the top left here and the number if you want to project it in your classroom a little bit bigger, or get the QR code, you could do that. Just tap once and you're right back out. So again, this is the name of your topic, this is the uh, explanation, and this here would be uh, further information if you want them to, to front load a little bit. Uh, with more information before they respond to the topic. So, you'll notice here that I've got a plus button, and as you guessed it, that's what you're going to do, is click the plus button. You can see here it's moderated, and that means that in this grid, I'm going to decide if the video is suitable for people to view, because this is going to be public. So, we're going to have Teddy Bear talk for us here. So, you can see, first off, we can just go straight into recording, or we could upload our own video. If you want to upload a video that you've already made, you just click on that and drag or drop or upload and it's got to be in one of these formats or 250 megabytes and less. And Flipgrid does suggest a couple of compressors if you have a large video that you need compressing. You notice here too, we've got a neat little sticky note thing. So if you want to click on that, you can get your uh, ideas written down, copied and pasted or whatever. And the nice thing about that is you could start recording and you get the nice three, two, one. And then as it records, you can read through your sticky notes. But let's say, oh, I have another idea. I want to pause that. Or let's say I have to catch my breath or go to the restroom or something like that. Yay. Add to my sticky notes, unpause it, and I keep recording. And that's really a nice way to uh, just kind of break things up, take your time. And when you think you're ready, then you just click on the green arrow here. And then you can watch and listen to yourself. And if you say, oh, I like that, that works for me. Just click on next again and then the last thing to do is take your photo and of course if students or people don't want their photo to be seen they can either use a teddy bear or just black out the camera so we'll take that photo i'm happy with that photo if i don't like it i can trash it hey maybe i want to put like a little happy face or something like that on it i can do that let's go with hmm i'm very thoughtful and of course i can drag it drop it do some other things around with it um then i can go to the next one and you do have to record a name. It's up to you if you want to use a pseudonym or not. I do suggest students put a title in for their, uh, their responses. If they have a suggestion, hey, check out this link, it applies, and they can put a link in. These are all optional, of course. Submit the video, and hey, this is successful. I'm really, really happy. Woohoo! And eventually, once that renders, you're going to get an image here that shows that that video has been uploaded. 